Uh -huh. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com, and I've got another PS in 30 seconds for you. It's a Photoshop tutorial in 30 seconds or so. They almost always run longer. Today we're going to talk about the very strange and underused um, or not used at all note tool. I've actually never used it as long as I've owned Photoshop, mainly because the icon that it leaves when you click looks like it belongs in Windows uh, circa 1998. But anyway, you drop an icon. It's a note icon. You can change the color of that icon, let's say to blue. Hit OK, and you can see, boom, I've got a blue icon. Come over to the notes panel here, which will pop open, and and I can say this is the sky. Now, you might be saying, hey, well, actually, let me show you this real quick. You can add, you know, a bunch more notes, whatever, and you can select any note and change the color of it if you like. Um, so we can make, whoop, wrong note. Let's select that note and change the color of it. Let's make that one down there yellow. So we got a yellow one and three blue ones. All right, big whoop de doo right? You can clear all notes by hitting the clear all note button up here. You can also hide all the notes by just hitting Oop, command or control H and it's saying, hey, it's going to hide all kinds of stuff. Just hide all the extras. You see that? Command or control H brings it back or hides it. You can also just go view, uh, show, and choose to show or hide your notes like that. Um, or you can delete a note by just selecting the note and look to the notes panel, hit the delete button. Oop, make sure you actually select the note. So you can delete one at a time like that or you can clear them all. Boom. Yep, I'd like to clear them all. Now, you may be asking when slash why would I be using the notes tool? Well, here's when I think it could be very useful and I may consider using it. Probably not, but may consider using it. Um, when you're delivering a file to, uh, uh, to a creative client, somebody who has Photoshop, you can request that they use the notes tool to mark the file up like, hey, hit that up and say, you know, remove the trees, right? And it's just up there. So when you're looking at a JPEG that they've sent you back, um, you can quickly just review and see, oh, hey, look at that. They want me to remove the tree. So grab the healing brush tool. Boom. Tree is gone. Um, and when you save out like a JPEG or you print the image, something like that, the note icons are not printed or carried with that. They're carried with a PSD. So you don't have to worry about those notes going everywhere and it can be a quick way to mark up a file for your team or have your team or if you interns or employees that work with slash for you, you can have them mark files up quickly instead of having to, you know, continually flip out to like your email and refer to notes that are in your email. You can have the notes in the Photoshop document, but I don't know. That's the notes tool. That's what it does. I don't use it. Um, it's who uses it? Who uses the notes tool? I don't know. But that's it. The notes tool in Photoshop CC. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.